What is up you guys, it's Violet Telly here and welcome back to Let's Catch a Vibe. Now, I hope everyone's feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling vibey. As you guys can see, I am doing the item shop switch over. Tonight, I hope, I think my calculations are correct, we should get the Uncharted Bundles land tonight. If you guys checked out the channel recently, I released a trailer video pretty much showing what we were going to get in the Uncharted Bundle. But we should, get, we should be getting them tonight. We should be getting the treasure map tonight or tomorrow as well. But what are we going to get tonight in 3, 2, 1. Let's go! Where are they? Oh, there they are. Let's go. Oh, let's go. So, let's jump straight in and let's check out the Uncharted Bundle. So, jumping straight in. We have Nathan Drake, unparalleled adventurer with a nose for treasure and purse, uh, sorry, perchant for trouble. Cheese, part of the Uncharted set. Now, it does come with the movie and game version. So, obviously, this is Tom Holland from the movie version. And then we have the game version of Uncharted 4, Thief's End Drake, which is pretty damn cool because I was actually hoping that they were going to release both versions and they didn't disappoint. Cheese! I don't know which one I want to use more. They look absolutely both look badass. Moving us on to Chloe Frazier. Infamous thief for hire. Better watch your back, cowboy. Jeez. Again, we have pretty much the film version. We have the no jacket film version. And then we have the game version, which is the Uncharted, the Lost Legacy version of Chloe Frazier. Because if you guys didn't know, Uncharted did a spin-off game with Chloe and... Oh, I can't remember what the other girl was name was. What's the black girl's name from number four? I can't remember. But yeah, I, play, I know I played it. Um, I think I've still got it. But yeah, the Uncharted Lost Legacy was a brilliant game. It was nice to play with female protagonists. Anyway, moving on to the bat bling, we've got Chloe's pack. Who knows how much loot she could have stashed in there. Jeez. If you guys know, have seen the Uncharted movie, you'll know what this kind of bat plaque, bat back has. Uh, you'll know what this backpack has in it, which is pretty damn cool. Again, I'm sorry about the textures sometimes. Moving us on to the Parashurum. The par yeah, the Parashurum axe. Careful, it's even sharper than it looks. Jeez, the Parashurum axe. Jeez. We have another harvesting tool. We have the second hand sabre. If the blade doesn't finish your opponent, the tetanus will. I mean, yeah, pretty much a rusted sword. If you get tetanus, you're pretty much finished. Moving us on to an emote, which I didn't know was coming. The updated journal. Let him just, no, right, let me just jot this down. Jeez, oh, that is cool. I like that. Is this worth it, guys? 100% this is worth it. I mean, you get two styles for Drake. You get three styles for Chloe. 100% worth it. 2,500 V-Bucks and you get six items. Mwah. 10 out of 10. Gets my seal of approval. Is, is it or is it not worth it? So, anyway, as we move away from the featured store, we have the return of the featured store to show us off. We have the Trespasser Elite skin return. Infiltrate, Dominate, and Terminate first introduced in chapter 2 season 7 two styles we have the default here and then we have like the second alternate which is pretty much it has him opened up and pretty much he's powered by a giant cube which I think is pretty damn cool but anyway moving away from that we have the return of the hush bundle now I can't remember whether I did or is it or is it not worth it on this bundle but without further ado let's jump straight in and let's check it out just in case I didn't do one and if I didn't then I'll do one after the item shop we have the return of the hush skin Silence the Opposition, part of the Silent Stalkers set, first introduced in Chapter 2, Season 1. She has two styles, we have the default, and then for Halloween we had the kind of like zombified version of her return, or like Frank, I call it the Frankenstein version. Pretty damn cool, definitely recommend grabbing this because she just looks like absolutely badass. Moving us on to the Bat Bling, we have the Black Stripe, High Contrast Angularity, part of the Silent Stalkers set, again two styles. We have the default. And then we have the alternate suiting the second skin style, skin style very well. Moving us on to the harvest and tools now. We have the silent strike. Whisper quiet, razor sharp. Again, we have two styles looking pretty damn cool. We have the default. And then we have the alternate here looking pretty damn cool. This looks even better because it looks like they glow or they've got like a neon to it. Moving us on to the last part of the... Um, uh, well, moving on to the last item in the bundle. We have the weathered black wrap. 
Not animated or reactive, but I think suits the skin really well with like a weathered black look. Again, looking really badass. Definitely recommend grabbing guys. Even if you, even if you aren't a big fan of the wrap, I definitely recommend just grabbing the skin because the skin is awesome. Anyway, moving us on to the rest of the featured store. We have the return of another bundle, the Street Shadows bundle. Pretty damn cool. Starting us off, we have the Ruby Shadows. So that sometimes you gotta go dark. Pretty damn cool. Bit of a nice little spin on the OG Ruby skin, which is instead of being red and white, this is black and white. Uh, also, this was exclusive to PS5 for a long time, and then it came to us um, recently enough. Sometimes you got to go dark, part of the Street Shadow set. First introduced in Chapter 2, Season 5. And can I just say, we like those, baby! Because she's got those cheeks. Now, moving us swiftly on to the Bat Bling, we have the Blackout Bag. They'll never know what's up looking pretty damn cool also love the fact that we have the headphones there and we have a little knife on the right hand side love this bat bling moving us on to the harvesting tool we have the shadow slicer not even in the darkness is safe not even not even the darkness is safe moving us on to the glider we have the sky shadow shadow style signature stripe glider i think this is what they call a paraglider i think but anyway pretty damn cool love the fact that it's got like a bit of a wind contrail Moving us away from this bundle, we have the return of the Spire Immortal skin. The Spire's Final Nightmare. Part of the Looming Spire set. First, first introduced in Chapter 2, Season 6. Absolutely amazing. I love that his face looks kind of inspired by Spawn, if you guys know who Spawn is. Absolutely amazing skin. I would have loved him to be in the battle pass with the Spire um, Queen as well, which is pretty damn cool. Moving us up to his bat bling, we have the Spire's Touch. Dark magic always leaves its mark. I love the fact that this bat bling is kind of animated as well because some of the um, spikes on his back move. So they look like spikes and they look like claws. Moving us away from this, we have the Spire Shard Harvesting Tool. Forged in the Spire's Fury. Again, looking pretty damn badass. I love the fact that it's got like an animation so it looks like it's moving as well. Moving away from this, we have the return of the Arachne Skins. We have the return of the legendary Spider Knight. They'll fall into your web. Part of the Arachnid set. First introduced in OG Season 6. Pretty damn cool. We've had this skin recently, so you guys would have seen it on the channel. Moving us on to the legendary Spider Shield. Spawned from Endless Strands. Looking pretty damn cool as well. Suits the skin really well. Moving us on to from this, we have the return of the female Arachne skin. Weave a web to victory. Part of the Arachnid set. Now I know I probably already said already said this before, but she reminds me of an alternate version in the Marvel Universe of a Black Widow that I think she was black and she actually looked like she had this armor set on as well. Or was heavily inspired anyway. Also, can I just say we like those baby? Because this skin has got some webbed cheeks. Look at that booty. She's got a booty, man. Look at that booty. Anyway, moving on to her legendary bat bling, we have the long legs. Stretch your legs. Looking pretty damn cool. Looking very, very scary as well. Moving us on to the return of the harvesting tool that they both share. We have the web breaker. Now, it is reactive, so when you use the harvesting tool, the eye glows red, as you guys can see there. Clear out the cobwebs. First introduced in OG Season 6. Ooh, it has a bit more of a glow when you actually use the harvesting tool, but sometimes it has a natural glow anyway. Moving us on to the selected glider, we have the hatchling glider. Or as I like to call it, the black widow. Along came a spider. Jeez, absolutely amazing. Definitely recommend grabbing this, guys. I, I, I definitely recommend grabbing it unless you're scared of spiders or have arachnophobia, which I think is the term where you're afraid of spiders. But anyway, moving us on to the daily store. We've gone through a lot of stuff already. Moving us on to the return of the Mariana skin, joining us in the daily store. Champion of the Ocean's Light. Part of the Sea Glow set, first introduced in Chapter 2, Season 3. Looking absolutely amazing. Now, the skin is reactive and it reacts to eliminations and loot. So when you open chests, the skin will light up, which I think is a really cool touch. And I really like when skins have that little bit of an extra flair to them. Moving us on to the Bat Bling, we have the Moon Jelly. It's cute, but don't touch the tentacles. Definitely don't touch the tentacles. Anyway, part of the Sea Glow set looking very badass. We have a floating jellyfish as a bat bling. Moving us away from this, however, we have the return of the Bracer skin. 
I always love the hair on this one. It's like purple and white. Advanced Tactics Classic Cool. Looking very damn badass. Part of the Modern Mercenary set. First introduced in the OG Season 9. Moving us swiftly on to the emotes and the harvesting tool. Starting us off with the Icon Series emote. We have the rushing around. They lived a certain man. First introduced in Chapter 2 Season 8. If you guys don't know, I think that's Boney M um, doing a song called Rasputin. I think Ra Ra Rasputin. Uh, moving us on to the Stark Splitter, which is pretty damn cool, because pretty much you know when this kind of harvesting tool comes around. We're usually going to be getting the Shadow Series bundle coming back soon, so this might be a hint of things to come back. Swing Through the Shadows. Part of the Skull and Bones set. First introduced in the OG Season 9. Pretty damn cool. I definitely recommend grabbing this, even if you just use it with the Shadow Ruby skin that we've just covered. Moving us on to the return of the No Sweat Emote. With one hand tied behind your back. Jeez. Part of the final showdown set. First introduced in OG Season 9. You guys know, obviously, the final showdown was between the mech and the monster. And the last but not emote to finish off the daily store, we have the Revel Emote. Or Revel. Nothing wrong with a little celebration. First introduced in OG Season 9. 200 V-Bucks. Nice little celebration if you get a Vic Royale. Or now even a Crown Vic Royale. Moving us on to the rest of the item shop, we still have the Monarch Level Up Quest Pack, which I did do a video on last night, and is it or is it not worth it, which did quite well. You guys seem to enjoy that bundle quite well. But yeah guys, moving us away from this, we have the return of the NBA 75 skins, which I did think were going to stay because they only literally just came out. But yeah, check out my item shop video last night, or my bundle video on this item, on the NBA skins. Moving us on to the In The Paint. We've got the In The Paint bundles and emotes now. We've still got the Silk Sonic, which has been here for quite a while. I'm definitely going to be grabbing him if he stays after tomorrow night. Uh, but yeah, moving us swiftly on, we still have these special offers and bundles. But yeah, we've got a pretty packed out item shop today, guys. We've got the brand new Uncharted bundle. We've got the Hush bundle. The Street... Um, what was it called? The Street Shadows um, bundle. But yeah, guys, I'm going to end this video here. Because I'm going to do it is it or is it not worth it video on the Uncharted bundle. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. If you didn't enjoy the video, don't forget to smash the dislike button. And let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and join Team Let's Catch a Vibe. Also, if you guys did enjoy this video, please don't forget to switch on the bell notifications to get notified as soon as that load. But more importantly, don't forget to stay vibey and I'll catch you on the next episode. Peace.